Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, working with you to make your game nights better. Tonight, what I'm doing is I am opening up a new-to-me game. This is Boba Mahjong, sent to me by Sunrise Tornado Games, someone we've worked with in the past. Um, they are the people that published Macaron, which is a multiplayer trick-taking game with two Trump suits and a bidding and everything. Well, this is a new game from them, a Mahjong-based game that is a two-player-only version of Mahjong Rummy set collecting with a bubble tea theme. Uh, it's a nice little tiny small package. You almost basically can't see it in this image. But we're going to crack it open, see what the rules look like, take a look at what the cards look like and the card quality. And then at the end of the video, I'll share my thoughts on what I thought of Boba Majon. Now, for those who don't know this game, I am going to read off the back of the box just so you have an idea of what we're talking about here. So it says a two-player Mahjong variant set collection card game. In the game, players create sets of three cards and keeps one card from every set as a scorecard. When a player has ten or more scorecards, the game ends. Players will use their best six scorecards to make a boba drink and collect points based on the freshness, smoothness, complexity, and presentation of their drink. Player with the most points makes the best drink and wins the game. So again, this one's coming from Sunrise Tornado. I'm just going to crack the shrink and we're going to take a look at the cards in this small deck. All right, here you have my copy of Boma Mahjong. All I've done at this point is crack the shrink open. Small card box size. You can see some of the art on the edges. I uh, notes it's a family game, ages 10 plus, plays in 20 minutes for two players. So now we're going to crack this open. I bet you I'm going to find more shrink wrap. But you get a cute little boba bubble when I'm opening it up. And yes, we have no, no, no more shrink wrap. Yay. So we're going to slide these out. Take a look what we got. I gotta say I'm impressed right away by them providing a nice QR code who learned to play the game, hopefully. Although it might just be a link to their website. Uh, wow, okay, they end up with pretty big rules, which I'm too zoomed in to actually see here. I'm not gonna bother zooming out. Um, fit into that small box. Like, I wonder why they folded them so small. So you have the, the look of the game components. Looks like there's gonna be some player aids, how to set up the game on your turn. Um, how to create a set. I gotta say, I, I like the, the color coding here. Each section's in its own color. Um, there's a little game objective on the other side. Font's a nice size. Uh, this is nice rubbery, kind of plasticky stuff. Here's an example and the game end. And then, well, I gotta say, it looks like scoring is the most complicated part of this game. The scoring section is larger than anything else. And then there's even an example of end game scoring. That's uh, more rules than I was expecting. And... Man, they have this folded. Am I going to have the map problem? No, no. I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay. It wasn't that bad. Okay. <laughs> Little tiny folded up rules. Then we have the cards. Um, Card back is a little hard to see. You can see it's lots of little boba bubbles floating around in pinkness. I don't know why these four cards are separate. And then we have a summary of the end game scoring. So again, I guess a end game scoring does look to be the most complicated part of this game. Uh, and then the how to play during a round. Two of these, obviously, for two players. Again, I'm going to leave these cards separate in case there's something special. So then we get to see them. Uh, I guess a pretty standard card design, right? You've got your, your numbers and your suit in the corners. So you can see it when you fan your hand out. Uh, you got graphic in the middle as well as text. So it looks like strawberry is a wild card. Oh, this is also straw. Okay, so the different strawberries show how many boba bubbles it looks like. So... A zero is a complete, and then you have strawberry tea, strawberry tea with two, with three, with four. So again, if you have a hard time reading the numbers, you can always count the number of things, seven, eight, nine. So it looks like you're going up to from zero to nine, at least in the strawberry suit. And then you have toppings, mint leaves. So this has some kind of special ability. Toppings, coffee jelly. So there's also topping cards in addition to the other ones. So then you have the tarot milk tea. So again, you're probably going to have one through nine. Zero through nine? Yeah. No, nope. zero through eight. Wasn't there a nine? I swear there was a nine. No, oh, it was eight. My bad. So zero through eight in a different suit here. Uh, suit symbols are a little difficult to see. They're, they're kind of tiny. That doesn't look all that much different than that. But they are also card coded and it is there in text. Uh, then more toppings. Matcha tea. This one's a little easier to tell apart. The green leaf sticks out. Yep, zero to eight. Then we have a set of toppings. And then butterfly tea, zero to eight, and more toppings. 
So quite a few different toppings here. Uh, multiples, three of each one. So you got red beans, green beans, coffee jelly, egg pudding, egg pudding, mint leaves, mint leaves, coffee jelly. So some there are two of, some there are three of. Uh, card quality is good, but not awesome. Uh, you're not looking at bicycle quality, but these aren't paper either. Uh, no linen finish. They are very shiny, which honestly is going to make them easier to shuffle. And we have four different suits. Art, I dig it. It works. Uh, they're all unique. It's nice and easy to see the little boba bubbles. And then what we have over here, these were separate. So we have more toppings. So I don't know if these should have been separate or if they just should have been mixed in. So we have more toppings to put on our bobas. That's it. That's all you get. Four suits and a bunch of toppings. A significant amount of toppings. Which I'll put these back together. I'll kind of hold it sideways so you can see how many you get. So removing the reference cards. You're looking at that many toppings. Or sorry, that many toppings, that many teas. Stack of cards. I didn't count them. I'm not going to do that now. Now what I know is going to be a pain in the butt is getting the rules back in with these. So first we're going to get those in. Then I'm going to attempt to slide. Oh, that wasn't bad. Because of the slipperiness of the cards, that actually went together really nicely. But you have the... Oh, getting the heat. Know what it is? I think it's because I put the instructions on this side. Let's try with the instructions at the bottom. That slid in just as nice. I just, I, I always worry I'm going to damage a card when you're doing this. Boom. Boba Mahjong. All right. There you have a look at the cards you get in Boba Mahjong, a two-player version of Mahjong with the usual set collection, which sounds like a really unique scoring game where you're trying to make sets of three. And every time you do that, you pick one of those cards to keep. It's that card that you score at the end of the game. I, I dig it. That sounds interesting. I am a fan of two-player card games. I am a longtime Mahjong player, but the, the original Chinese version. But I also enjoy Rummy, which is basically kind of the same thing in a way. I'm looking forward to checking this out. This one is coming from Sunrise Tomato Games, who I have to thank for sending me a review copy. And as for a review, that'll be coming soon. I'm looking forward to trying this one since it's two player. Should be able to get to it pretty quickly with my wife and I. Um, plus, I'll probably try it out with the kids and some other people. When I do publish a review, though, you'll be able to find it on tabletopbellhop.com. But I'll also be sharing it on um, YouTube. We'll do a video de video on demand. And you'll be able to listen to it on the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, which hits your podcatcher of choice on Tuesdays, though we are on a bit of a hiatus right now. We'll be back soon next week. Uh, that's about it for this one. This one looks really cool. Um, I'm looking forward to it. This, this looks like a lot of fun, and I've enjoyed other games from this company. So thank you for joining me. Good day, and game on.